values that they brought to the UK? Well, it's a community that's made a huge contribution to British life over the last century, but it's also a community that has been steadfast in its advocacy of tolerance, of love, of understanding and of peace. And I believe that that message of reconciliation, understanding and a commitment to peace is one of the reasons that they're held in such high regard by so many people here in Britain. Well, in the course of his remarks today, His Holiness made clear his commitment to peace and to reconciliation. And I think in circumstances like we will confront in the years ahead, that message of reconciliation has never been more needed. It's one that can bring people together across boundaries of faith and geography, across a whole range of different divisions uh, within and beyond society. So I welcome uh, his very clear statement of support for a view of reconciliation and peace. It's a message that I think many people will admire, recognise and want to see articulated in the years ahead. I think it was a marvellous event. I've just been speaking to His Holiness. I congratulated him on the excellence of his speech. I think it's very, very important that we give the true message of Islam. What's Islam all about? And the message given by His Holiness today is something which I also say, continuously say, and that is we who are here, we have come here from abroad, we must be loyal to United Kingdom. And he mentioned about the fact that when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he returned to Makkah Sharif, he gave an amnesty to everybody. Everybody was allowed to exist. That is the true message of Islam forgiveness and also the fact that Islam does not allow people to be killed in the name of Islam. In my view, some unfortunately, some of us misunderstand the true message of jihad. And he mentioned earlier on that the only time we should take arms when our religion is being threatened. And our religion is not being threatened at the moment. So why should we commit these awful crimes, like killing of an innocent soldier? And I think it's imperative that every one of us, doesn't matter, I'm a Muslim leader, but every Muslim in this country must be an ambassador for Islam. And that is giving the true message of Islam. Islam is indeed a religion of peace. And to hear, hear uh, from his Holiness and others, I think, is to be very much appreciated. I'm very happy to have been here. I'm very happy to have joined my friends in the Ahmadiyya community. And I'm particularly moved by the power and strength of this occasion's message from His Holiness. The need for reconciliation, the need for brotherhood, the need for love the need to stop hating, the need to stop the feeling of revenge. This human quality based on specific words in the Quran, delivered with great strength is a source of inspiration and I believe everyone should hear and should heed his words. I think the world would be much better if many more people heeded his message, his interpretation, his take. It's so basically grounded on the words of the Quran, on the beliefs of the Prophet.